I believe Sarah's at Royal Palace. Let's go find her. What happened, Sarah? The popcorn fell. I lost half of my popcorn. I'm going to the Evening Times, too. Yeah. The favorite person in the world. It's kind of worth it. Where's George Lucas? I, I mean, no, 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 I'm kidding. A classic cruise vlog because it is day four and I am heading downstairs to get breakfast and see how things look outside right now. Brandon is sleeping so we're gonna go check out breakfast. I'm gonna go back to Royal Palace which is what we did yesterday. Um, I won't fully vlog in there but I'll show some highlights because I'll get different food this time and of course I'm gonna go wander deck four um, a little bit before I go down to breakfast. Otherwise we'll just do a little bit of highlights here and then back up to the room and Brandon should be up and ready to chillax today. Good morning, everybody. Sarah doesn't know I'm making this video. I'm out on the balcony, the veranda by myself. Sarah is up at breakfast. Today was the day out of a five day cruise. Six if you count the morning of where you have to debark, but no one counts that. Um, we'll see if she inserts this. I'm gonna go find her. She's at breakfast somewhere, I'll surprise her, but I did sleep an extra hour this morning and uh, but it's beautiful out. I wish Sarah were right here. Insert her here with some fancy CGI or rotoscoping or something. But uh, anyway, Sarah's at breakfast. Let's go find her. <laughs> I made it, but everyone, Sarah's going to see footage on my phone. She doesn't know it's coming for her. So you guys knew in advance I was coming here. Sarah just found out. So yeah, I, I showed up. I found Sarah. I'm a man of the sea. I found where we are on the ship. She's in a little hidden corner back here. But uh, we're just going to order food, and we'll talk about it when we're done. But uh, I came in hot. So they're being very kind to get me some food and everything like that. But Sarah, how's yours? Really good. good. And there's Sarah eating. Uh huh. So how is it? You're almost done with it, of course. Super good. So I got the gluten free eggs Benedict. They actually put it on a Bloomfield Farms roll. It's gluten free. Definitely not dairy free. Um, but you can get tons of dairy free egg options. I also got the gluten free allergy cookie. It's a bit of pancake. Those are going to be tasty. Well, Brandon, you got food. I got some food, very basic. Got some orange juice, got some coffee. Um, scrambled eggs and a couple hash browns, that's all I need. Scrambled eggs are good. Um, half, let's bite into a hash brown. They're good too. Nice early little breakfast, not too much because we're going to be eating today at some point again. We sure will. Oh, and I don't know if I said in this video already, but we are going to go to Cabana tomorrow for breakfast. Are we? Yeah. Our first time ever? We've been, we to, have Cabana. Been, there. We we have been, been to Cabana's before. It's just we been have. a really long time. We prefer to sit down. But we're going to do yeah. Cabana's breakfast at some point tomorrow. For you, the viewers. Yeah. For you, the viewers. Okay, a little disjointed video today. Sorry, the date, <laughs> see? So our vlogs, yeah. I think, are going to be... Shorter today, too. A little shorter today, um, because we're going to chillax. And also, shout out to our server this morning, Desroy, who also said chillax. He did. Unprompted. Unprompted. See? It's a thing. Hashtag chillax, make it happen. Everybody. Chillax. But yeah, so this will be a little disjointed video today. We did some dueling intros, maybe. I don't even know. But uh, we changed a little bit after breakfast. Now we are going to Census Spa, or the Rainforest. Yeah, we're going to go to the Rainforest Room and Census Spa. Yep. We are going to probably go to Club Cafe, so we will also show some highlights there. Yep. We have wine tasting later today, and then we may go see a movie. We may yep. go to the top deck. We may get a snack up there. I guess we'll give the flavor of what might happen on a at sea day yeah. where you just kind of meander take do your own thing yep. take it easy there are a ton of activities there's bingo there's trivia there's cooking stuff so there's a bunch of things you can do we'll show you the little things yeah, that we have on this cruise and um we're almost positive right over there we won't be able to see this on uh, oh, camera but cuba's over there does everyone remember dominic Toretto? dom 
Um, it was either Fast and Furious 7, 8, 9, 10, who knows, but it began in Cuba, and they did, they used Cuban NOS to run the Cuban mile. But, um, family forever, family first. But um, we are going to go to the spa, like Sarah said, yeah. and uh, just take it easy. If this is for some reason the first video you stumble across from this cruise series, it'll probably, I think we said it, be the most disjointed and maybe shortest. So maybe don't start here. But um, again, <laughs> but who knows what the future is? Yeah, and again, if you are coming on a longer cruise, this gives you an idea of different things you can do in a Caribbean cruise yep. where you're just chilling. Just chilling yep. Make it your own. Let's go. All right, everyone. I'm in here completely by myself. Sarah's out there in the hot tub by herself. This is amazing. Of course, if anyone comes in, as we always say, we will not be filming. Very private, serene spot. Everyone look up to Maura Morrison, the Polynesian spa. There are no words. So we spent about 90 minutes in the uh, Census Spa and Rainforest Room. We, we didn't film much in there, but we did end in there in uh, one of their solder rooms. The uh, really, really hot one, it's like 114 degrees. And we did better than we've ever done. I'd say we were in there for a solid minute, right? 60 seconds probably. Um, we got drenched from it, but uh, it was awesome. We are now in Coke Cafe, and um, our server here is actually from uh, the content tasting last Clovis. night. Clovis. That's what it, I almost said. Uh, gosh, who was the guy with the gin card on the last cruise? Uh, Clinton. Clinton. I think Clovis and Clinton. So, uh, but yeah, Clovis, the server, amazing. It's great to see him again. So we're just going to chill here. I don't think we're going to do much vlogging in here. You guys have seen it, but um, we'll get some footage and maybe briefly talk about what we got. But uh, yeah, we are. Chillaxing, make it happen for Sarah. Hashtag chillax and make it trend on Twitter, number one, at least number three. Um, but yeah, so after this, we don't know what we're doing. This is the day where we just kind of hang out and do what we want. It's wonderful. It's an announcement outside, not inside here. Um, they played the music, but uh, I got a double shot of espresso. Awesome, awesome new cups and everything. Yeah, we want these for home. They're so cute. Brain is going to be zinging. I'm going to be zinging and zanging. Does everyone remember? Six. I don't know. But uh, really good. And they're doing the horns. They did the horns. did the horns. So we're good. Yes, really good. Okay, so I got the salted caramel latte iced with almond milk in it. And... They have new cups at the Coke Cafe, this cruise, and they put, you can see all the layers, of so syrup, and coffee, and non-dairy milk, super fun. Um, this is always a really tasty drink, you can get hot or cold. Also, pro tip, um, they use, I believe, the Monin brand right now on the ship, always double check it, they are gluten free. Some of them do contain dairy, so always double check that. So I'll mix that up a little bit. Have a shot of syrup. Yeah, I love this. It's something different. It's very refreshing. I don't normally get super sweet coffee drinks, but I have to get this probably at least once on a cruise. So. Yep. Very good. So we made it to Cabanas. We, well, we were only having quick service, then we just decided to pivot to go to Cabanas for lunch. So we'll talk a little bit more about this later, how do you get the process for the buffet. But we went to our head server, the server helped us out. We wrote down things that we were interested in. And I got a mighty spread. So I got some turkey, some vegetables, some french fries, made in a dedicated fryer, and some shrimp. So this is all gluten free and dairy free. I did get a salad. Um, this is fruit and that's on it. This does have cheese in it, so there is dairy there. Um, but otherwise, so, super easy. This, this is all gluten free, dairy free. Okay. Yeah. So all gluten free. Yeah, and then Brandon got a plate of like mac and cheese, carbs, 
all the potatoes, all the cheese, all the prosciutto. So I just want to quickly just dig into the shrimp. Oh, at least do the shrimp. Yeah. Yeah. This looks good. It's like a little stir fry. It looks super tasty. And there's like tons of fresh seafood out here too. Mmm. It looks good. That's good. Shrimp is nice. I like the sort of pepper and onions in there. Try the chicken. The chicken real quick. Everything else is kind of standard. We waited from start to finish. Well, from the time I ordered, it was 10 minutes. So it was actually not bad in terms of the wait. Very good. We are closer to kind of closing time. Yep. Oh, good. All right. Really good. There was only one thing that I asked for that I couldn't have um, because I had soy sauce in it, so it wasn't safe. But everything else they were able to get for me safely. And yeah, nice little lunch before we head to our wine, wine tasting in a little bit. But I want to see what Brandon thinks All right. of his little mac and cheese and his little meat and cheese <laughs> plate. Sarah, what, I what, what is this? You got a roaster wine that they have at a carving station. Oh, good. We also got some prosciutto, some cheese cubes. We're gonna got some French fries as well. The roast sirloin is great, actually. Um, a lot of fat. I'm not a, I don't like a lot of fat, but if you if you get around, it's really good. Let's try the most important thing. I thought you were gonna say the mac and cheese. It's the most important oh, yeah. thing. That was last. Oh yeah, we haven't had any Disney fries yet on this cruise. Disney fries, or generic fries, but they're amazing because Chef Mickey. Soon to be Chef Mini, hopefully. Makes him so, so good. You want to try your kids' mac and cheese? Yeah. And there's a ton of other things. Brandon, maybe we'll get some footage of all the other stuff so we can show some of the different variety. I think we're getting dessert. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. Solid kids' mac and cheese. Um, it is kids' mac and cheese, but really quick, everyone. Prosciutto. Is there such thing as bad prosciutto? If you say yes, you're wrong. No. <laughs> no. Really good. So, we're at Cabanas. Who'd have thought? You guys know if you watch any of our videos, we don't really do Cabanas. Um, just because not of the all the time. Amazing. Yeah, sometimes we, we tend have. to prefer but, um, to sit down. But this has been a great experience. Um, and I think, like Sarah said, we'll explain more about the ordering process, about what, what we did when we're done here. Yeah, because right? your mileage may vary. Yeah, your mileage may vary. But when we're done in here eating, We'll go outside, maybe deck four, and we'll talk a little. Brandon, try the dessert they gave us, and I think that was a hard no. They gave, they gave us a lot, and I think Brandon's like, no thank you. Strictly the texture. Yeah, that's why I don't like creme brulee. It's the texture. That's why I don't enjoy panna cotta or flan. I'll try this, but I don't think I'm going to like it either. Let's let Sarah try it. Hold strong, Brandon. I am. The rest of it was good. No, the rest was great. No issues at all. I'm just being extra picky. Right yeah, now. we're just not fans of that. No. Nope. Nope, Sarah's true. Nope. nope. She didn't know I was recording. Nope. Nope. Please stop trying to make creme brulee and flour and panicotta happen. I know some of you love that dessert. And that is totally fine. Oh, yeah. Good golly. I wish that was not the default dessert. Yeah. Um, next time, and this is a pro tip, be very specific when you have, oh, someone has meat, cheese, and olive oil. Oh. Next time we'll come back to that. Um, be very specific. Sometimes when you, if you want something chocolate, or if you want something like meat, always make sure this will be a pro tip we'll share, and we'll talk more about it in kind of our tips video of dining with special diets on a Disney cruise ship, because the more specific you are, the better shape. Sometimes <laughs> we let it ride, and sometimes we get lost. it's all about everyone but we're here to debrief and explain cabanas a little bit and sarah go so. yes so cabanas is the buffet style restaurant here on the ship and it's a breakfast lunch and sometimes dinner uh, depending on your crew so always double check a lot of people do ask us how they handle special dietary needs. so you can do a couple of different things uh, the first is you can pre-order your food the night before with your yes servers and your service team and they can talk about different options or you can also just go there um my biggest pro 
tip is find a head circle when you get to cabanas and then also have an idea of things that you want. So then you can let them know, um, in this instance, Mark was the head server that we talked to and he and I walked down the buffet together. Oh, did you? Because yeah. I stepped out. Yeah, Brandon had stepped out. And so we just went through the line and I just picked and choose some of the things that we wanted. Now the one thing that I will say, just like anything here on the Disney Cruise Line, is sometimes it takes time. Um, I feel like every cabana's experience we've had has taken at least 30 minutes for food. Yep. Today was the shortest cabana's time we've ever had. About 10 minutes. It was, I think I went through for about 10 minutes with him and we talked through options and then we waited 10 minutes for the actual food to arrive okay. at table. Okay. So basically he took the pink slips. If you go to Disney World, you probably used allergy slips. He wrote down our allergies, we talked through the options. And then he went and came back with food once he cleared all of that food with the chef back in the kitchen. So yeah, that worked out really well. And again, um, there were things that I requested, like I requested some jerk pork, and that ended up having soy sauce in it. So he let me know when he brought the food back that that wasn't a safe option. Okay. Um, but do make sure that you are really clear with them on things that you want, things that you're okay with, things that you're not okay with, um, and ask lots of questions. And of course, if you are going to with a be patient because it may take yes. some time. Yes. Yeah, please be patient. They really are working literally for your safety. Yeah, yeah. they really want to make sure that things are safe. Um, so definitely be patient with that. Yeah. But today was very quick. Um, and we're going to probably pre order maybe for breakfast tomorrow. Yep. To to so yeah, went to Cabana's. So overall, really good. Yeah. yeah. And shrimp was great. And there was lots of good options. So yeah, absolutely. Plus, they'll make you something if you ask yep. them to. And now we're chilling on deck four before our wine tasting. Yeah, I'm going to listen to an audio book. Yep. Got my AirPods, my Tootsie Podcast. Let's chillax. Well, we chillaxed on yep. deck four. For a while. We came back to the room. We yep. also chillaxed here. Yep. And now we're getting ready to go to our wine tasting. Yep. Cannot wait. And um, we say it for every tasting. We said it for our cognac on yesterday's video, or the other day's video, whenever we uploaded that. But um, we just, uh, we don't know how crowded it's going to be, how loud it's yeah. going to be, how quiet it's going to be. Um, and... So never have we like spoken to each other during it like we normally would. Yeah. So we might get some footage of it and everything and then insert that and then we'll talk about yeah, it. Yeah, so usually we put a little bit of what they call B-roll in mm -hmm. the, in the uh, video and then yeah, we'll debrief afterwards. But yep. we've done it, we've done the wine tasting on twice here on the Dream and on the Magic before. So we're looking forward to it. Yeah. Always a really good and session. And where is it at? In the best place ever, pink wine champion. Yep. So, ready to head over there? Yeah, let's go. Let's go, everyone. Welcome to Pink. I see some family faces who have been before, some of them new. Anybody for the first time this now? As we all know, old world, new world, anything that is coming from Europe, like from Germany, France, Italy, Spain, Austria, is considered to be a old world wine. Anything that is coming from new world is going to be United States, Argentina, Chile, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa. These are considered to be a new world wines, right? We consider it to be high in alcohol. Roughly we can say over here it's medium. For these all complex aromas in this wine, it's not on sand, it's on the, in the stone, right? So the roots have to go very deep to get all these minerals. So you will find all these off aromas in this wine, especially like petroleum, like rubber, which is very common with this kind of Rieslings. Let's go with our next wine, which is going to be our red wine. As I told you before, red wines, we crush the grapes, we start the fermentation together with the skin. During this fermentation, what we do? We also get something that is called tannins into the wine. What is tannins? Tannins are antioxidants which are present in grape skin and grape seeds. Support them. And in order to support them, we need to drink more. So when you go next time to a market or supermarket to buy a wine and you see this wine pairs good with pasta, this wine pairs good with chicken, please don't buy it. Go to a winemaker if you are uh, staying close to a winery, visit them, try to explain to them what you want to cook, what you want to, what you want to pair with your, with your food, and see how passionately it's going to be able to tell you what's going to pair really good with this particular food. Bring that wine back home, 
cook the meal with your loved one and enjoy that moment. I am sure that's going to be uh, the best moment that you can enjoy for coming few years. Thank you very much. I hope I was able to pass the message over my name. All right, well, we're not tipsy at all, really. We kind of are, but what just happened, Sarah? Sarah is so dejected and embarrassed and a little kid when what we're about to tell you happened, happened. Sarah goes, the little kid goes, oh, no. So what do we, Sarah, go ahead. Well, we got popcorn from the popcorn cart after, after, after a wine tasting, which was awesome. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it in a little bit. We're walking back to the elevator and tragedy befell. What happened, Sarah? The popcorn fell. I lost half of my popcorn. Sarah hit her own bucket of popcorn. She literally slept, smacked her own hand, and it went flying. So it went from a full thumb to less than half. And this little kid goes, oh, no. <laughs> and then poor Sarah, no. tragedy befell. But we'll talk about the wine tasting a little bit. Very crowded and very good. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, really good. Had some great wine. Sarah, we'll talk more about that because she remembers all that kind of stuff. I don't have a clue. Not really. I remember which one I liked, but Sarah knows. I mean, she was... When they, when they were asking, what wine is this? She was getting it right in front of everyone. It was great. It was very good. It was awesome. But now I don't have any popcorn. She can have some of mine. I'll get some more later. Yep. All right. Really quick, um, this is going to be a hard cut from when we came in and we were laughing about Sarah's popcorn. Um, we're going to do the wine debrief really quick or our general thoughts on it. Yes. But here's the but. Something for the first time ever, Sarah's done nine cruises. I've done eight. And from our general understanding of people, um, they don't. This doesn't happen too often, thank God. Yeah. But um, something has happened, and this is not a joke. Uh, we're being serious. We'll start laughing later. Um, but it was humbling when this happened. Uh, Sarah, an announcement came on. Oh, yeah, we had in the room. So, unfortunately, there yeah. is a medical emergency on our cruise, which means we are actually switching uh, directions. So, we're actually heading. We we're supposed to be going towards. We're watching. Um, I'm, I'm looking at the. We're, we're the watching map. on the map right over here. Yeah, uh, right we're right. supposed to be heading to Castaway Key tomorrow, but because of the medical emergency and the need to get a helicopter out here as swiftly as possible, they are moving very quickly towards Key West. Very quickly towards Key West. They rerouted yeah. immediately. So, they so. let us know in the next hour we would be shifting that direction yep. and that. It shouldn't impact our time tomorrow, which who cares at that point? Who we cares? want to make sure the yeah. person's okay and yeah. safe. We've. I want to say this. I mean this. I hope no one cares. Um, if there's a medical emergency, I don't care who it's for, a one-day-old, a 100-year-old, it doesn't matter. If you need to get off the ship to get proper medical care, that's the priority no matter what. I, yeah, I'll totally. Castaway Key can go away mm -hmm. when it comes to that, and I would hope they would do that for me and Sarah and any of you watching. But um, the captain's announcement was humbling. Yeah. Um, we have been on board before. I think we've logged it. Of not the yeah, not absolutely. the incident, um, but they had a medical emergency one time we were on board, but they yeah. didn't have to reroute. Correct. I think we had one where somebody fell because of the. Yeah. It was our January 2020 cruise. I'm yeah. pretty sure where somebody fell because of the waves because the they were bad. Uh, if you are not familiar with cruising in December and January, January especially can be a really rocky month. Yeah. So we had somebody fall and um, <coughs> Excuse me. hit their head. So that person needed medical attention. Um, which we found out later in that video, but yeah, this requires somebody to be evac out of here. So obviously super important. Helicopters coming, it sounds like, yeah. and everything like that. Um, yeah, we keep looking over here on our stateroom television. Yeah, we have the, the live map because um, we've picked up speed and the captain said we're, mm -hmm. we're heading there immediately. Um, and like the captain said and all the crew, and we do want to say it, and then mm -hmm. we will move on. We're not going to dwell on this. If we get any updates, we'll update. I'm assuming we won't get any yeah, updates. Hopefully it just goes well. But genuinely, um, no joke, no anything, because um, we, we we all love joking and everything, but our thoughts are with the person, the yeah, individual, absolutely. his or her family, um, friends, everyone, um, anyone with the person. And all, we said it before, but we've talked off camera about this long before this ever happened. But if the, we, we've talked about this happening before. I don't care where we're set to go. It, that can wait. Someone's yeah, life and health is overwhelmingly yeah. more important than any location you could ever go to. So, yeah, we are we are really picking up speed looking yeah. at that. Oh, yeah, we definitely are. But I will wow. also quickly encourage people, if you are taking, especially a longer cruise, oh, good, um, yeah. to consider things like travel insurance. So, we yeah. actually bought travel insurance for this cruise we because it was do. five days. Yep. We typically buy travel insurance just because you never know. Things can happen. Yep. Um, and if you do have to be evacuated out of here by helicopter, it can mm -hmm. be very expensive. Yeah. So having things like travel insurance can be super duper helpful. Um, there's lots of different ones out there. 
if you use a Disney or any kind of travel agent, ask them for opinions. Yeah. Um, we use one that covers pre-existing conditions. Because um, that's what we got. Because we, we got some of those. Um, but it's definitely good to have because if you have an emergency, it can help with some of the costliness of an emergency. So, yeah, and, just that's, a pro tip. and that is what sadly someone is dealing with right now. Yeah. Um, so hopefully they're okay. They'll get to a, a mainland hospital mm -hmm. and be completely fine. And this will be just a bad memory for them, hopefully. Yeah. Um, but um, anyway, we're going to move on. We don't foresee any updates on this. Um, it's not their job to tell us any updates. But if we do hear no. something, we'll give an update. Um, other than that, we're going to now move on so we can get back to the laughter and the joking and all that. But our mm -hmm. thoughts are with uh, the individual yeah, and his or her definitely. friends or family and whoever they're with on mm -hmm. board the ship right now. Um, so moving on, the wine tasting. Now we're going to the wine tasting, and here we go. Yeah, so this was our... Third wine tasting that we've done on Disney Cruise Line. Uh, we've done yes. twice here at uh, on the Disney Dream, once on the Disney Magic. Oh, did you bring out my pen? I didn't bring the pen. I did. It's in fact. Moving on. Sarah will explain what I you. just said. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I forgot something nope. at the wine tasting. It's I just... got the pens. Yep. Uh, so that is one thing. So the stem to stern wine tasting has been a long-standing um, adult beverage seminar offering on Disney Cruise Line. I wish it was still... Stand oh. by. We have a copter. We have a chopper coming in. We're going to pause this, and there's a boat coming in, too, or a ship. I don't know. Stand by. Stand, stand by. All right, so we're back. Um, we went out on the uh, veranda for a second. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming we're going to show all that footage that we cut and said, oh, something's going on. Yes. Um, we have no announcement yet, but we believe... We believe... We think the person was evacuated on a helicopter. Yeah, we think so. We heard something. We think it was too late. It's not like we rushed out there like, oh, we got to watch it. But um, we did want to see. We uh, Key West was... It felt like you could touch it. It was right over there. Mm -hmm. um, very close. And there was also a Coast Guard uh, ship docked alongside us and everything yes. like that. Um, and we are... We're turning... Yeah. We're making so, a hard, hard right? Yeah, we're making a hard right. Again, it's... Video, I don't think is going to do any of this remote justice. But when you're on board, you know, when you're stationary and then you start... Yeah, rotating. you can definitely see we're moving fast. Yeah, and you can actually feel and it. And actually, you can see on the map. Again, we have the map on. We have the map on the TV right here. You but, can see um, that we're starting to move just slightly south of Key West. So, yeah. So, um, hopefully the person's okay. Yeah. Thank you to all the crew members, the captain, everyone. And thank you to the United States Coast Guard um, for showing up. Um our armed forces. Thank you. Um, but thank you to the Coast Guard. Thank you to everyone. And uh, especially our thoughts are with the family. But in saying that, I said we wouldn't dwell, so we're not going to dwell. Again, if we get any updates, we will tell you, of mm -hmm. course. But moving back on to the wine tasting. Yeah, so our wine tasting, again, a great standard. If you were looking mm -hmm. for an adult beverage seminar and maybe a great gateway session, I think the wine tasting is a great one. Does everyone remember when it used to be $25? Because we remember that. Um, now... <laughs> Does everyone remember when the Rainforest Room and Census Spa was $14? Oh, yeah. It was less than $20. It was like yeah. 16 or something. <laughs> yeah. Does everyone remember that? But, right. um... <laughs> um, So now it is... It was $50 a person. Um, but I still think it's worth it. We got... Oh, gosh, yes. We got... This time... Normally we get six glasses of wine. This time we got five glasses of wine, but a flute of champagne. Which was nice. So, bonus. An amuse bouche. I don't know what that word means. I'm just overusing it on this cruise. I thought it's a it's palate like a little, cleanser. A little, little bite. It was a palate cleanser. Yeah, it's like a little bite to yeah. start you on so, um, your dinner. So, yeah. So, we got, um, typically you get five to six glasses. And they're not full glasses. They're like little tiny pours for you to kind of try the wine. Um, the Somali who will lead it will talk you through all the options. Mm -hmm. Kenneth, who led us today, was very informative. Mm -hmm. We got lots of good info. I feel like even though we've done it this is our third time, we get something new every single time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is but great. Sarah's right. I'm glad Sarah said that. If you've done the wine tasting before, and let's say you enjoyed it, mm -hmm. or let's say maybe eh, it was average, but you would like to try it again if it was different. It's try different. Try it again. If, it's different every time. We've done three wine tastings, mm -hmm. and the cognac and the champagne tasting. Mm -hmm. But um, wine tastings alone, just just we've done three, yeah, we've done it and three times. all three are vastly different with the wines you get. Mm -hmm. As well as the cast member giving the uh, speech, yeah. giving the demonstration. is different. Yep, every, every time. Every single time. Yep. And the wines are different, like you said. This time we got, I feel like Riesling always pops up into the wine tasting. But even like the reds and the whites 
there was no Chardonnay this time. Like, sometimes you get a Cabernet Sauvignon, sometimes you get some other weird mm -hmm. stuff or interesting different things that would surprise you. So, um, even if you've done it before, I think it's worth trying. Yeah, absolutely. We'll do it again. Now, I now prefer the cognac tasting. But, um, oh, no. watch yesterday's video for that one. But, um, but... Yeah. Sarah, would you say the wine is your favorite tasting? I would, no. So, th that we've done. No, actually, my favorite was, is between the champagne and the cognac. The cognac, You I like the cognac? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh croissant. Like, we're going to have to Croissants aren't thinking. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think we're going to have oh. to do some of the, like, okay. it, evening ones again. Because I liked how it was very chill and low-key. And those typically don't tend mm. to sell out. So, that I think I would like to do again. It was very different, very interesting. I liked the champagne one because, again, I'm not, I like champagne. You all know that. Um, if you've watched our videos, you see I drink a lot of champagne when we're on cruises. So I thought that was interesting just because I didn't really know a lot about champagne. And I think we got a lot of info in that one. Um, so I'd yeah, like to repeat yeah, that yeah. one again. Yes, yes. The wine one, again, standard. I don't think you'll go wrong. It is probably the most popular or one of the most popular, because mm -hmm. wine is a great gateway. The mixology one is also really popular. Yeah, in our experience, it's the most popular in terms of crowds. So yeah, yeah, we yeah. had a, we had a good crowd today. We had a, we had a pretty, pretty big, big crowd. We had a pretty big crowd versus the two of it, well, two parties, four people last yeah. night at cognac. So this was pretty pretty full. Yeah, and our friends Heidi and Heather were at our wine. Oh yeah, Heidi and Heather were there again. See them again. We are we seriously doubt Heidi mm -hmm. and Heather will ever watch our poor videos. <laughs> but um. Oh. Heidi and Heather, if you if you watch these, leave a comment and subscribe. <laughs> no, no, but hopefully they had a great time. Um, yeah, hopefully they had an amazing time. Um, wait, why are we talking about Heidi and Heather now? But anyway, wrap it up. Wrap it up. But, um, we'll highlight some yeah. of the stuff from the wine, the wine <laughs> tasting. We love the wines. I think it's a great way to see if you like different wines. Yeah. Uh, this wine pairing, they actually use some of the wines that, not all of them, but a few of them were highlights from their wine package. So you can get them if you decide to do the wine package. So, mm -hmm. of course, I picked the most expensive wine that I liked, but. It was good. I forgot. Which yeah. was your, which like, was our favorite? We agreed. Our actually. favorite yep. was the Gogi Wines, which is Kurt Russell's winery. Again, we did a blind tasting. Oh, that so was the Kurt Russell wine. Yeah. Well, that explains that yeah, because so, Kurt Russell starred in um, The Thing by John Carpenter. One of your favorite movies. Literally in the top 10 films yeah. of all time. So you do a blind tasting Literally. and that way you get a chance to see what you like, what you don't like, as opposed to just making decisions based on the label mm -hmm. uh, and the type of wine. And we really liked the Gogi Southpaw yeah. Pinot Noir, which it, we have had yeah. before. We really loved it again. We that was our it. top. Um, so yeah, it's a great way to find out different things yeah. you may or may not like. So highly recommend the wine tasting. We both highly recommend all the tastings. We haven't done mm -hmm. every one of them yet, but we're, we're certain we recommend all of them. Yeah. And, uh, just to wrap it up, um, leave a comment. Do you think, uh, oh, no. John Carpenter should finish the Escape From trilogy? We of course have the Escape From New York, which is an, a classic. There's no, I think anyone would, no one would argue that. Escape From LA, not as good, but a lot of fun. Snake Plissken. Um, and the reason I'm bringing this up, if, if Kurt, 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 Russell, Kurt Russell, if you're ever watching, if you're Kurt Russell, yeah, John Carpenter, John Carpenter is still around and active. Kurt Russell's still around and active. There is a chance to finish out this trilogy. Escape oh from where? Who knows? I don't care. Just make a fun movie. Anyway, great wine tasting. Great wine tasting. We are now going to go back to Rainforest yep. Room and then. The next time you see us will probably be at, at dinner. our dinner, which yeah. will be at Royal, Royal Palace tonight. And please, for the love of Mickey, let me get my fried brie. You already saw Lewis today, our we server, did fried and brie. gave him the heads up. He wanted not one, but two brie's. So I'm guessing he's getting three. Yeah. And uh, before see. we wrap this up, I'm about to hit stop. But looking at the map again, we are making oh, due haste towards... Sh yeah, we... So it's really cool how it's live. It kind of, if anyone from Disney's watching this, add this stuff to your app. You want everyone using this app nowadays. Paper navigators, psh, they're gone, sadly. But you want everyone using this app. Add this cool stuff to the app with the temperature and the live maps and maybe add that. We'll, this is really cool. It just It's kind of sad you have to be in your room to see it. But let's anyway, um, let's go relax. Let's go, relax. Let's go chillax. Um, again, we really hope that person's okay, mm -hmm. that uh, guest is okay, that passenger. And again, I don't foresee any updates. So th this is truly the last time we'll mention it, unless there is an update. Yeah. 
So uh, yeah, so oh, we're moving. This yeah, is the most yeah, we're yeah. You happened. can see it live. We're yeah, we're we're literally like we're yeah. You can see it moving out there. But anyway, that's it. You're we might get some footage and sense the spot depending on how crowded it is, how not crowded it is. But you know what that's all about. And uh, for sure, you'll see us at dinner at what was it again? Royal Palace. Royal Palace. Are you ready, Sarah? Chillax. Let's go chillax. Hashtag, please make it happen. And make listen, make one of our hashtags happen for the love of Mickey. But um, <laughs> off we go. <laughs>
tomorrow is going to be up there okay. in the outlook so very cool very cool great views and really really cool artwork from wally in there mm -hmm. which I, I don't know if we got video but again i took a photo i don't know if sarah will insert it but it's a very cool like two-story artwork of wally so very cool yeah. but uh if you have kids and you've been to the edge you've probably seen it. you've probably seen it we had not um we've never been an edge so um but uh it was cool to see yeah so now we have showered we're all ready to go to royal palace Royal Palace, Brandon is already dreaming about fried, fried brie. Fried you better be waiting on me, fried brie. I'm the coming for you, fried brie. Yeah, step into a slim gym. <laughs> oh, boy. Ready? Yes. How <laughs> many things of brie will Brandon get? Hopefully. Leave your guess in the comments. I, leave your guess in the comments. I am going to ask for two. So, at least two, there's your answer. You're getting at least three. All right, we'll see what happens. Uh, our server, Lewis, has been uh, loading this up. So, let's see what Lewis sees. Well, maybe a weird end to our vlog and night. We said it would be a different vlog. A little yeah, disjointed we, at the beginning, remember? We did. I didn't think our dinner would be disjointed, but here we are. For a debrief. Yes, Sarah. And we did not review our dinner. We're going to now. Yep, we are going to now. We've also a link in here. We've also reviewed Royal Palace a whole bunch. Mm -hmm. And all the things you got we reviewed before. Yeah, everything. Yeah. So... If you would like to see a more full live action review of the food we have gotten, I would recommend checking out some of our previous vlogs because because we do cover that in full. Yeah. That's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, why? Well, we have literally vlogged everything we've drank and eaten on this entire cruise. So what happened tonight? Well, it was a confluence of things, but primarily because, y'all, the tables are extremely close On in top these of restaurants each other. Yeah. and so we have had like a group of three of us have all been around each other in our previous meals yep. this time we were in royal palace and we were next to somebody like a, a group that we hadn't sat by before and we were at least close the, you couldn't you couldn't stand between the tables if you wanted to a, a child couldn't stand between the tables um, yeah so we were just trying yeah. to be respectful of everyone around yeah, us with that and and we are not misremembering the past and this is literally this is pre-covid pre-pandemic um the tables have not been this close before i not, there's no answer no, i mean no. i would i'm assuming disney could answer that question the you know the whoever the president of the cruise line D dcl mm -hmm. could probably answer that question i'm sure they've done their computer super studies and all that stuff and that's great but sitting there is not so, yeah. actually sitting there. We'll talk about this more maybe like in an overall kind of review of the cruise and maybe tips and tricks. Yep. Yeah, the tables are definitely so much closer than they've yep. ever been. And I'm not entirely sure why, especially because as of right now, the ships are still not sailing to full capacity. So, not this one, no. I do not understand that. Yeah, I, here we are. <laughs> I don't know, but... Let's quickly run through the dinner. I my appetizer, fried brie, delicious. It goes without saying. Appetizer. Oh, I had the iced lobster and shrimp, which I've gotten a ton of times. Love, love, love it. Yep. It is March gluten free. It can be easily made dairy free. Sometimes it's just straight dairy free. It depends on your saline. Mm -hmm. Like the last cruise, it had butter on it. This time, it did not. Um, because they like poached the lobster and butter. So double check with your service team. But it can also be easily modified. It's always a winner if you yep. love seafood. And then we both got soup. What did we get? What kind of soup? Well, allegedly oh. it was potato soup. But I don't think it was actually potato soup. You don't? I still don't think it was potato soup. I still think it was more like a broccoli soup. Okay. I have no clue what That's it was. It was, it was pretty good. Um it did look different than the potato soup I had on the first day. Yeah, totally different. Totally different. They insisted it was potato soup. Maybe it was. Um, I thought it was good, but uh, I'm going to defer to her. If it, it, was it good whatever it was? It was, was it okay? Good. Yeah, it was good. Okay. I would say Disney always does, Disney Cruise Line always does soups pretty well. Yeah. And it could have just been a different version because of needing to have vegetable stock. The version that Brandon got on Embarkation Day had gluten. And this one was marked gluten free, which I said to them in advance. Excuse like, me, if, if that's a, you gonna go sleep now? I am, but not in film. Um, so yeah, I gave them a backup choice 
uh, in case that wasn't an option. They said it was fine, but it was definitely a different suit. Okay. So it was good. And then entree, I really liked mine. It was the Chateau Briand. Chateau Briand. Um, really good. Not an ounce of fat. Um, easy to eat. Not one of the few meals here that doesn't overwhelm you and just fill you to the brim. So really good. Highly recommend the Chateau Briand for at least if you like. It. Mm -hmm. Really good. Yep, and it is gluten free, um, and you can easily get that modified dairy free by subbing out some different things. I've had that before. It's pretty good if you're a steak fan. Okay. But I was filled to the broom tonight because I got another round of Indian food. Awesome. Awesome Indian food. All the Indian food. Um, I got some different stuff this time, which was super awesome. I got like a potato, tomato kind of mix that was really yummy, super flavorful. I also got um, paneer with peas. That was really good. So like the... The potatoes in the tomato dish was probably vegan. The one with the paneer is vegetarian. And then I got a chicken one that was okay. a very different chicken, kind of almost veering towards like, it wasn't korma, but it was something kind of more like that. All very flavorful. So much Indian food. Yeah. Delicious. And then dessert. I got not one, but two Mickey bars. Classic Mickey bars. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Um, not much to review there. If you've had a Mickey bar, you know they're delicious. But what did Sarah have? Yeah, but I was going to say pro tip, oh. if you don't realize it, because Brave and Brandon was like, wait, I can get a Mickey bar? Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, you can actually get Mickey bars upon request. Mm -hmm. They are not listed on the menus, but ask your server, and they will hook you up. Yeah. No and they are the Mickey bars you can get at Disney. Yeah, the OG, the, the Mickey bars. Yep. You got two of them. Yep. I was dreading that I was getting creme brulee, because if you've seen our other vlogs, um, I am not a creme brulee fan. Okay. I do not like flan. I do not like panna cotta. It's just a texture issue with me. I do not enjoy them. And nine times out of ten when we go to Royal Palace, I get told my option is creme brulee. Mm -hmm. And there is no other option. <laughs> um, so I did ask our server, Lewis, if there could please be anything. For the love of brulee. Mickey and Minnie. For the love of Mickey, Captain Minnie. All the rest of the uh, characters, please do not give me creme yep. brulee. And I ended up getting um, like an allergy-friendly, dairy-free, like mousse. I thought it was Jello because there's always room for Jello. Yeah, you saw it and you were like, "We're getting Jello." I was like, "Oh no!" Um, but there's it was a, it was a non-dairy, it's a non-dairy um, mousse with strawberries and like a strawberry sauce. I love strawberries, so. I was very happy with that. It's the one it time like, during dinner I said I wish I would have been filming because she bit into it a little hesitant. Not hesitant, but nah, nah. Um, But when she actually bit into it and tasted it, she, she really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was very good. So. That was a nice late way to end the meal. Yeah, and then we ended the meal. But meal's over. Yep. Yeah. And so after that, besides so being tired, <laughs> we went and made a quick trip. To the Bon Voyage Lounge because we needed a nightcap rather than go to the lounge tonight. Cheers, everyone. Listen, everyone. Brianna got we got whiskey. Whiskey. I got champagne. If you're watching this now, pause the video, go get your favorite drink and drink with us. Cheers. Oh, cheers. 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 Brandon's very happy. A relaxation day. Yeah, a, yeah. More relaxation. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so let's quickly. It's, it's only been eight minutes according to the uh, timer here. That's pretty good, everyone. Um, all right, for real. Quickly review the day. Day at sea. Yeah, day at sea. And I think this will be one of those videos where it's kind of like we're low key. Not very, not as long, not, mm -hmm. not very, maybe not as long as our other videos. Um, just relaxing. We spent a ton yep. of time at the Rainforest Room today. It was amazing. Especially was so the second time we went. Both times were amazing. But the second time we had the entire place to ourselves. Yeah, the entire hour we were there. Yeah. Even earlier in the day, super quiet. So love getting to enjoy relaxation there. We hung out a ton on deck four and the promenade deck. Actually quite a bit. I, yeah. I wish we could have gone back. We didn't have... 
shockingly enough, we didn't have time, even on Daisy. But uh, we did spend a lot of time out there, and it was awesome. And hopefully, sometime tomorrow can be spent out there. Yeah. So that was really nice. I think that was sort of the highlights for me. We just yeah, relaxed. We just relaxed. Uh, Sarah spilled her popcorn. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, but no. Great day. Uh, this will be a short debrief. Uh, well, if you're new to the channel, 10 minutes might feel like a long time, but no. We've debriefed for 15, 20, 25 too minutes. Long. Hashtag debrief. Um, hashtag debrief too long. But um, but no. Uh, so it's still late, but it's still earlier than it was last night. What is it, 10 o'clock? 10.19. It's 10.19. But we, um, had, we, we went back an hour for two days. And yeah, we went forward, forward an hour. hour last night. Yeah. So... We're a little disjointed. We stayed up a little bit later yesterday. Also, very quickly, forgot the wine tasting. You saw us. We did oh, yeah. a recap of that already, so we don't need to do that again. But yeah. that was also another really fun thing. Really fun, today. really amazing. Um, other than that. Other that, than that, yeah, tomorrow is Castaway Key Day. Um, it's also our last day on the cruise. Sad. Sad tears. Um, it goes by too fast. Mm -hmm. Even a five-day cruise. Oh, really quick. We, did we bring this up earlier? I don't know. If not, we can cut this or whatever. But uh, earlier today, we ran into Al Wayne. Al Wayne. Al Wayne. If, somehow, if you're watching this, we ran into him. Maybe we did take a photo with him. It was awesome. Al Wayne is an amazing cast member on board. I mean, most cast members, all cast members are. But Al Wayne is that above and beyond cast member. Got to run into him, though, and that was a ton of fun. Yeah, so, and um, also Santana again. Oh, yeah. Oh, Santana, we, we did at dinner. Yeah, yeah. Santana, We got yeah. to chat with Santana real quick, so it was awesome. Yeah, awesome to run into uh, two, cast members, friends, former, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Two former service team crew that we They were had. excellent, yeah. So good, so awesome, so it was great to see them. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, tomorrow's Cast, cast Weekend. We are going to get off the ship for lunch and maybe just for a little bit but we're actually gonna spend a good amount of time on the ship we think tomorrow yep. that's the plan yep it also looks we like it pack. may have rain yes yeah, uh as we're as we're filming this right now um a cold front is on its way to florida i mean where we live but um we are missing it but it is going to affect us the captain said on his announcement of yeah. course so it looks like his vicinity might yeah it might rain tomorrow and they said a high of 78 which is technically not that high for this area um but yeah, so still looking forward to it. If it rains, we obviously won't be on Castaway Key too much. Um, but we will get some lunch out there, hopefully. Yes. And, uh, and see what we see. See what we see. Enjoy the last part of our mm -hmm. cruise. Cap things out with more chillaxing. Yep. Anything else? I think that's it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. For the patrons on Patreon. In fact, this this is for you. Thank you to all our subscribers. Um, like, hit the bell, leave a comment. Um, again, if this is somehow for real, the first video you've ever seen of ours that you just stumbled across, if you liked it, great. But um, do watch our day one, two, and three also. Um, this was a slightly uh, disjointed day, like Sarah said early mm -hmm. on. But um, we had a ton of fun. Hopefully you got something out of it and enjoyed it and everything and, you know, adventured with us and everything as we relaxed. Hashtag chillax. But uh, thank you to everyone. Leave a comment. Do you like five-day cruises? Because we sure are. Um, but uh, other than that, you ready? Other than that, we're going to let Brandon finish his well, crown. Well, wait, what does Sarah have to finish, though? Finish my finish, 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 finish. And then we're going to go to bed. And then we're going to go to bed, everyone. But uh, we will see you in the morning. Cast a wiki. Cast a wiki. See you soon. Bye. Bye.